Oh, hello. I'm not really sure why I'm here. You say you're a student? Hmm. That must mean I'm here to teach. My name is Joseph Priestley, a humble chemist at your service. I am known for discovering oxygen, the gas. When you drink a soda, you're welcome. I invented a process to carbonate water. Uh, yes, yes, moving on. Uh, we're here to talk about physical and chemical changes. There are two changes you can do to matter. Physical and chemical. A physical change only changes the properties of the matter. For example, if ice melts and turns into water, it still keeps its chemical bonds as H2O, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. In chemical changes, those bonds are broken and the atoms are rearranged into a new structure and therefore a new kind of matter. For example, when you burn something like paper, the chemical bonds are broken and most of the atoms are turned into smoke while the burned paper is now turned into carbon. Here are some examples of physical changes. Melting, boiling, and sawing. These changes won't break molecular bonds and retain the same chemical structure even though they have undergone a change. Here are some examples of chemical changes. Burning, decaying, and rusting. These changes break molecular bonds and the chemical structures change and are rearranged into new forms. What is a physical change? It doesn't break the molecular bond of its atoms. It breaks the bond of its atoms. Correct. A physical change doesn't break the molecular bond of its atoms. Which is a physical change? Burning a candle, cooking on a grill, fermentation, melting ice. Correct. Melting ice turns to water, but doesn't break H2O molecules. Which is a chemical change? Chopping onions, cutting wood, a rusting nail, crumpling a ball of foil. Correct. A rusting nail is a chemical change as the iron is oxidized into rust.